Hey guys, it's your what's up. I hope you're good. Welcome right back to my channel. So today's video is a mostly typical week in my life. Uh, the only reason I say mostly is because I did go on a little road trip adventure thing on Tuesday in the afternoon with my mom and my mom is not <laughs> usually in Connexity so we don't usually do, do those things and I honestly most of the time don't go on little adventures on my own. So yeah, besides that, it's a typical week in my life. Enjoy. All right, so it's Monday and I either work uh, 9 to 3 or 3 to 9 today. I have no idea. I need to call my job because um, 3 to 9 makes more sense for weekdays. But I also do 9 to 3s on weekend. And I think I wrote down my schedule wrong, so. All right, so I am in fact doing 9 to 3 somehow today. So I leave in 15. My can won't fucking open. <laughs> Hi, I'm on my 15 minute break. It's 1.05 p.m. I finish at 3 and um, I was like, oh, I only finish at 3. I'm going to eat when I get home because my husband doesn't finish work until 6. Won't be at home until like 7. So I was like, I definitely have protein bars in my things. I don't. I have these old cookies though, so we're gonna have a snack. So I lost my nail while putting stuff in my bag. But what's nice with having fake nails is that I am keeping it and I'm just gonna have to put a little bit of the, like prep my nail, put glue and put it back on. All right, so I'm home. So here's the plan. I'm gonna show you what I bought at my job even though you kind of saw it. I'm gonna redo my nail. Take some muscle relaxant. No, they're not, they're painkillers. And then take a nap because all my muscles hurt so much. Uh, I have probably a condition, I haven't seen the doctor, uh, all my muscles hurt so much, nearly all of the time, like my base pain level is a 3, and when it flares up a little bit, it's like a 5 if I don't move, and right now, if like I'm moving, so it goes up to a 7, mostly my shoulders at the moment, as well as my knee, calf, and ankle on my left side, so, also didn't sleep well, so a nap. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I bought, and then we're gonna do that. Hi, this is not the best angle, but that's what we're gonna do. Uh, first, I bought a reusable shopper's bag because I didn't have mine in my bag. Um, and I really like this one, it's really Art Nouveau, and I love Art Nouveau. Okay, cool. First, uh, we have breads. These are crusty buns um, for tonight's dinner. We have baked chicken not too long ago, um, so we're gonna cut it up in little cubes, uh, brown it in the pan with some oil and some garlic powder, and then I'm gonna cut up some broccoli, and I'm gonna put them with uh, the chicken, the broccoli, and some cheese on these, put it in the oven a little bit. It's gonna be so tasty. Next, I haven't had these in years. But chocolate covered gummy bears. Why not? Then I got two of these because they were two for something. I love these so much. I go through a bag like so quick. And they are uh, quite healthy snacks. Um, I try not to look at the back anymore because I am recovering from an eating disorder. So. Then I've been obsessed with this energy drink. I can only find it on my work. Even like Amazon doesn't deliver in the in Canada for these. It's a full throttle citrus. This is so good. Um, I'll probably take that tomorrow. Cause I already had an energy drink today. And then uh, I discovered these last week, and they're so fucking good. 
the Clearly Canadians a strawberry, summer strawberry, sparkling water. I've also tried the raspberry one, but it's not as good. It tastes like like uh, crystal light packets, but this one tastes like actual so fucking good. And I love everything that's uh, strawberry, so I got two of them. And then at the bottom of our bag, we have my fake nail. Yeah, let's go do that. This is one of his favorite spots. And he actually wants me to open the water for him. Um, but he does like go and sleep in there. If I open the water. Goodness. He's been doing that since he was a baby. <laughs> Alright, so the steps in redoing my nails will be uh, buffing my natural nail. Putting a dehydrator. Nail prep dehydrator. Then I have a uh, a nail drill, and I'm just gonna drill off like the old glue from inside the nail. Then put glue on both my nail and the fake nail, and ta-da! So let's go. Also, I want to talk about my inner corner highlights because I fucking love it. Let me get my tripod, and then we'll do that. Tripod secured. Okay. So the thing is, my Makeup for work is always the same and I was on the search for the perfect highlighter for my inner corners now for the longest time I was using This one this is a new one uh, because I not only hit pan on the old one, but completely There was no more okay, so this is the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlight in rose gold molten rose gold this thing I fucking love it, but there was not enough glitter for me for my inner corners. For a while then, I also instead used, this is the Element Beauty Duo. Uh, it's Lilac Skies and Breeze. I think this is Lilac Sky, I'm not sure. There was enough, you know, glitter. And I really liked the blue and purple, but there was not enough color underneath. And I'm just gonna swatch them for you to show you like the so see this is fucking beautiful but not very glittery now if I go with this it does look purple but once it's like I wear it like you can either only see the glitter or only see the purple like it never lasts completely and then I came across um glisten cosmetics teletubbies collection. Imagine finding one of the most gorgeous highlighters you've ever seen and it's the fucking Teletubbies Tubby Custer. Glisten Cosmetics just released an entire Teletubbies makeup collection. This is not a fucking ad. I love Glisten Cosmetics and Teletubbies is fun as fuck. First off, I feel like these are the star of the show. We have each of the Teletubbies as a wet liner palette. If you're not sure what the fuck water activated liner is, basically it's dry in the pan kind of like a watercolor and then you spray it with water or use a wet brush and when you dip in there it magically turns into a super pigmented eyeliner. Glisten Cosmetics Cosmetics liner brushes are fucking superior. We have this four piece brush set. It was beautifully in this box, but I, I used them. I told you about the tubby custard highlighter. This is fucking huge. I personally love the splatter shape, but I can see how it might be inconvenient for storing. Excellent news. This is a magnetic pan, so you can kind of wedge it out. There you go. Do what you want with that bitch. Then we have tubby toast powder puffs. Are you serious? You get four of them in there. It's a powder puff. I don't know what else much to say. When you use the mirror, you are the baby in the sun. My fucking family gaslit me into honestly believing that I was the baby in the sun on Teletubbies and I went to school and told everybody that and wholeheartedly believed it. And then there's a few bags. I have the Poe one. This is really cute. There's also a Dipsy bag that looks like this and then Lala and Tinky Winky are tote bags. If this tickles your fancy and you think you're gonna go take a look, I do have a code LINS that'll save you some money or you can use one of my friend's codes, but we do make money when you use those codes. So if that makes you uncomfortable, don't do it. Can't even fucking tell you how good it made me feel inside to see a Teletubbies collab in a sea of liquid blush and lip oil launches out there. And I really liked their uh, water activated eyeliner palettes, which are just the faces of Tobies. I'm fucking obsessed with it. Um, but I don't use water activated liner. And then I saw the Tubby Custer highlighter, okay? Look at this beauty. And I'm gonna swatch it for you and basically show you that it's the perfect middle, okay? This here, perfect middle between the two. Not too dark, but still glittery, but not like no glitters and like 
oh it's so beautiful and the purpley blue shift on the pink like i like the pink and purpley blue shift it's just it's just the most perfect highlighter i've ever seen in my life and i put that on my eyes this morning and like girl this is so fucking beautiful and like my everyday makeup is that in the inner corner a little bit of concealer eyeliner brows mascara and like it's so pretty anyways i'm gonna take my pain meds and go to sleep and also drink some of this because it's so fucking good this is what they're like closer i really like the pink from the molten rose gold glitters from the middle one and then like the tubby custard one is even more glitters and like look at that in the light also the element beauty the middle one i had to put a white primer underneath to make it pop as much as the tubby custard one which you know i didn't need to do that so it saves me a step in my morning routine i still love these two and like the molten rose gold this is definitely gonna say my go-to highlight but look at that if you ever had like fresh directly from like the dirt strawberries okay not like full of things and they're huge but like those little ones wait a minute i have some like the little ones that come straight from the little farms and these cardboard boxes it tastes exactly like that both little sparkle also i technically do have plans for the rest of the day like i have some editing to do i want to get a start of a on a school project even though i can definitely fully do it tomorrow i don't need to start it today but when you have chronic pains uh some days you just gotta Take some painkillers and take a nap. So, you know, I was taking off my makeup, getting, like, starting to get ready to go take a nap. And, uh, there's a fucking nun on my For You page dancing to Joyride by Kesha? I've built this For You page brick by fucking brick. I'm gonna put it right here, because y'all need to see that. <laughs> He's ready for the nap. So another nail popped off while making food. Um, the thing is, I do my nails like fully like once a month and like three quarters of the month is gone. So I totally understand why. So I'm going to glue it back on while my food's in the oven. <laughs> Alright, so it's 10.35 and today's gonna be a big day because first, uh, my mom's in town right now, she goes back home today. So we're gonna probably visit a cathedral and or have a little picnic and read close to the river. And then I have to make a school project that is due tonight and I also have a couple chores to do. I would really like to edit and prepose the video that's gonna that should go up tomorrow. And I have like some more editing I want to do, but like what I don't do, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But I really want to do a lot of it today. So let's go get ready. All right, so that's the fit. I have this dress from Retro Stage, it's a little bit too big on me. 
and there's not like much shape um so i have this corset belt here i love it and the flips have been made we're going to the cathedral and i'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup do my skincare and uh, then we go All right, so it's 3.30 p.m. I'm back home and let's talk about it. So the basilisk my mom and I want to see is the Basilisk Saint Anne in Saint Anne de Beaupré. Um, and there is a little bit of um, footage of the Vieux Quebec, which is the old like part of the town, because we didn't put the right basilisk in the GPS and we ended up at the Zillis Cathedral Notre Dame of Quebec, uh, which is not where we wanted to go, but we saw some of the old Quebec. Anyways, <laughs> it was very nice. I do love visiting churches, cathedrals, basilisks, all of that. And I did get some souvenirs, but let's talk about where I went first. So. I got, I got papers, okay? So this is where we were. And you can get one of those little guides where you have like, you know, it, it's a guide. And when we were there, there was a way of the cross, which if you don't know, it is basically a like step-by-step -step of Jesus like carrying a cross and being nailed to it and stuff like that. The way it was at this place is that it was uh, 14, I think, statues of all of the like bigger steps in the way of the cross. And yeah, so I have a little way of the cross thing here. And then I got some stuff. So first of all, I got two puzzle cards. It says... Oh, it's not the basilic, it's basilica. So I have one of the basilica and I have one of the shrine right here. And I am going to bullet journal with these and um, with these. And I also have one of the saint staircase. So I'm gonna bullet journal with these and with um, like pictures that I took. Then I have, I got a keychain. So on one side it is Saint Anne, 
and it says good St. Anne pray for, for us because it was a basilica for St. Anne. And on the other side, we have the basilica engraved on here. It is very beautiful. I nearly went with a magnet that had this one on the front, but seeing that the keychain has both sides, I took that one. It will be going on my ancestor altar, so I am uh, a witch. And I have a ancestor altar that has both Celtic and Christian things because of where my ancestors are from. It was Celtic, then Christians got there. And I also have a, like I have a Valkyrie. I know this is not Celtic, but I love her so much. Uh, it was like from the start of my practice. I have a couple of, like I have a cross, it, a cross that was in um, the room where my grandpa died. I have a little thing like, memorabilia from my grandpa. I have something from my fiance's great grandma. I know it's not technically on my side of family, but she was also a Christian woman. So I put her on the altar and yeah, last but not least, it's also going to go on the altar. Uh, well, before I have some prayer sheets because I got holy water. Now you buy a little bottle or you just, you know, fill up a bottle of water. Okay. And you go and get it blessed. And technically wasn't the first time I got blessed in my life because I have been like baptized. Um, but I am now out as a, not only LGBT member, but, or in a witch, but I'm also a Satanist. So it was some kind of experience uh, because I went to get the water blessed, but I also got blessed at the same time. It was a two for one. The priest there looked real nice. He was real old. And uh, yeah, so I have some little prayer cards, which I'm also going to put in my bullet journal. And I'm probably gonna put one of these little baggies, like cut the front and put it in my bullet journal. Anyways, it was very enjoyable, even though we got lost. And now, well, that's over. I need to go make a project for school that I need to uh, submit before midnight. All right, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take off my corset belt and my bra and my socks and be comfy. I think I'm gonna bring the laptop and my graphic tablet in the bedroom and do some work like on the bed. And uh, yeah. Let's go. Also, I just realized I didn't do any reading updates since starting the vlog yesterday. That's because I didn't read yesterday. But I am going to start, I haven't started it, Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood, which is our last fucking book that came out. And I'm so excited. The only reason I haven't uh, read it yet is because I am doing a Ali Hazelwood reading vlog, which should be out in August. Um, and I'm rereading all of her books in publication order, so so excited to be starting this this week. Probably gonna take a break because it's a three part project or four parts. I'm not sure. Take a break after each part. Read a little bit. That's gonna be very fucking nice. I also got some fuel. I have a cherry coke and a pipeline punch monster. I have in fact already taken a, an energy drink, but if I don't wanna go and take a nap and crash, I need to have some like more caffeine right now. I got everything out and on the bed, right? Tell me why I just fucking remembered I need to put the sheets in the washer. Well, okay, let's go. All right, so we are working from bed today. All right, so for this project, I need to do three different ads for a company. So the first two are for donuts, and the last one is either going to be pancakes or ice cream. So basically, it needs to use 
a known piece of art to use it like as a base for our ad and so basically we need to do two for the donuts because in this situation the people already have the donut shop and they want to open either an ice cream or a crepe shop and the third one needs to have like the same kind of thing and we also need to do a word document and explain everything for our three different concepts and I'm very excited because the concepts I'm gonna base mine off of Van Gogh because he is um, one of my two favorite artists I have loved his work since I was like 13 and I'm definitely gonna use for the donut part uh, 12 sunflowers and vase which is my favorite by him and I'm gonna put donuts as like the middle of the sunflowers I think that would be nice maybe not all of them but like some of them and I'm gonna use a start starry night with the ice cream and like put an upside out ice cream where the big tree is I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the third one first thing first I'm gonna put some YouTube in the background on my laptop and I'm gonna use my graphic tablet to actually open Photoshop and do all of that so yeah also this is um, weird because it says that it was supposed to be submitted yesterday but our classes are on Tuesdays and the teacher told us for our next class which is today but if there's anything I'm gonna lose like one point for one day so it's not too bad <laughs> so I'm gonna be okay if I just lose like you know one point for a zap uh, yeah so I think I'm gonna put some true crime in the background maybe I'm just gonna go in my YouTube watch later because there's like 4,000 videos in there and just random that I think that's gonna be what we're gonna do I know I have some Danielle Christie in there I have some Victoria Charlton who is a Quebec true crime girly um, I have some Triacle cats in there some Rolly some Annalise Alright, so I realized you couldn't see much when I was doing it because of the sun, but this is my first proposition for the donuts. I love how this one, like, completely fucking blends in. But, yeah. Um, this is exactly what I had in mind when the teacher was explaining <laughs> the whole thing. Um, I think I'm gonna do the Starry Night ice cream next. And for the... Oh my god. Give me a second. For the second donut one, I chose um, the Almond Blossoms, which is this one right here. It's also quite known, and I'm thinking just putting like a lot of tiny little donuts on there. So I'm going to do the, uh, like I'm going to do the ice cream right now, and then I'm going to do that one. This is the ice cream one. So basically I've made the cone and the ice cream colors we find in the picture. And it's on where like there would usually be like the big tree here. Let's do the almond blossom of so many fucking donuts. Also, this is what I get <laughs> when I work in bed. Alright, so I'm about to hop in class now. Um, I'm kind of done. <laughs> There's so many donuts on here. I'm probably going to keep doing it during my class. And um, probably going to be done by then. Alright, so here's the last one. Every fucking pink dot on, dot on here is a donut. And uh, all I'm going to have to do is do my little text, my little writing, and we're going to be done.
all right so my class is done i'm pretty sure i have a eyelash in my eye but it's okay so uh tonight order of things first i'm gonna finish my project by doing my little document second gonna submit that um then probably dinner uh we're having grilled cheese tonight nothing fancy and then I'm going to edit and pre-post a video that's going to go up tomorrow, which is actually doing my projects, uh, the first projects of my second semester. So, yeah, let's go. So, one of my... Uh, Photoshop file is too big so I'm just gonna send that one by email to my teacher like separately so he has everything it's all done let's make food uh, we're making grilled cheese very easy butter bread cheese uh, we use craft singles is it real cheese no I don't give a shit it's fucking good i eat two my husband eats three or four if he had a big day which today he did uh he does have a physical job so that makes makes a lot of sense um i'm gonna put on a reddit on wiki episode while i do that and yeah that let's go also my mom bought us some Krispy Kreme donuts <laughs> she got some of the those for us. I always take original. My husband takes chocolate glazed. So, yeah. She got us a box of these. Krispy Kreme are definitely the fucking best. I even have a coffee mug tumbler travel cup thing from them. Give me a second. And it's my favorite. It's my emotional support one. Let's go and edit. So, I personally use Wondershare Filmora. I fucking love it. So, let's go. Oh, hi, Bubba. Alright, so everything is edited. I'm exporting it, and I'm gonna pre-post it for tomorrow right after. Uh, so I was having a little dance party by myself, and it's now 2.40 a.m. I need to shower, we need to make the bed, I need to put all of this back in the office. <sighs> Let's go. Since I'm washing my hair tonight, why not show you all the shit I use? Alright, let's start with skincare. Uh, makeup remover, I use this one, it's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Jelly Wash uh, with charcoal because I have acne prone skin and charcoal stuff tends to help. Wash CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser. I love this thing. It has helped a lot. Um, I have so much CeraVe stuff. In the morning, I don't have the energy or time to wash my face. So I use the Oxy Deep Pore pads. They're acne pads, and they do help me feel fresher in the morning. In the morning, I also use these two. This is a CeraVe Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid because we need to be hydrating. And I have this face lotion. It's the just their AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. Then at night, I start with putting this on my T-zone because my T-zone is my hotspot for pimples. This is the acne control gel with salicylic acid. Then I put this on. It's the resurfacing retinol serum. Uh, I've been using this for a while and it has helped um, to get rid of my acne scars. And last but not least for my face, Another one of these facial lotion. This is the PF, the PM one. Next, let's go with this. Uh, this is technically a face wash. It's the Spectro Cleanser for blemish prone skin. Um, it's just fragrance free. I use it for my piercings. They're not my facial piercings. So I have 
ears and body just to you know clean body wash nivea rose and almond oil quite hydrating my skin needs it especially in the summer also hydrating this is the current uh moisturizer i use i'm just using whatever i have to go through it <laughs> this is a dans le jardin put salt mama cream it smells so good and it's a very light smell then hair that's what we have left shampoo garnier fructis grow strong fortifying shampoo anti-breakage we need that then uh garnier fructis triple nutrition conditioner this shit it's just so good and also triple nutrition double care milk and leave in serum you just mix it spray it in the hair yeah now i'm actually gonna go in the shower because i'm fucking tired i just realized why the fuck i'm so tired i've been up for like 17 fucking hours <sighs> definitely sleeping in tomorrow it's both m i have a day off and it's also my fiance's day off i do have chores to do but i'll probably do them on thursday and tomorrow just spend the day reading while my fiance plays video games just a chill day tomorrow honestly so fucking tired hi it's wednesday it's nearly 4 p.m and i haven't done shit today i was just on my phone we are going to order some dinner soon we're getting benny which is a chicken place but it's also my husband's favorite person place also this now popped off again but i need to start doing my um august reset because we're like a week away from the end of the month somehow so i'm gonna redo my now like take them all off and like redo everything today i read the first 11 pages of not in love um like the first chapter it literally looks so fucking good like i'm fucking excited for it gonna make my nails uh watch i really want to rewatch has been hotel but i've rewatched it so many times already but i think i'm gonna rewatch it yet again and yeah do my nails so here's what i'm gonna use uh for my nails i use these false nail they're already almond shape love that a lot i have a little buffer this step one uh it came in a thing of two but i only use step one which is the dehydrator then we have some nail glue i use this one quite good then we have uh it's all the same brand <laughs> but we have base coat top coat and some black and of course my little lamp all right so the steps are going to be one taking off all the fake nails two buffing my natural nails three dehydrating four putting on the fake nails and then we're gonna do the polish so we do one base coat two colors one top coat all right so one hand is done and i'm gonna order dinner and then we're actually gonna work on the second one let's read and yes uh this is my little reading spot at the moment with my bookshelves behind there those are boxes of books that there's no place for them but we have this lazy boy that is basically my childhood lazy boy um my parents had it like before i was born and uh, it's mine my father brought it not too long ago i have this little teddy bear that i've named honey after <laughs> the elden ring um <laughs> little doll girl it's from the thrift store like her a lot and then we have my tbr some candy a hair tie and a candle and usually i also go on and bring something to drink but 
Yeah. All right, so I'm about to do a little bit of editing, including also uh, some Photoshop things, um, like mood board for the Ali Ace Wood book reading vlog thing I'm doing. So. So it's 2.30 p.m. and I have a meeting about school loans in five minutes. So, uh, let's go. That was like five minutes max compared to the first time I did that because I already had like most of my infos. So, uh, today's plan besides that because I... Because of my ADHD, I get, I think it's time paralysis? Is that how it's called? Like, I can't do anything before, like, if I have, like, if I have work, if I have, like, like right now, like a call or anything, I'm not able to do anything before. So, for the rest of the day, <laughs> I do have class tonight. Um, and today is going to be a chore day. Honestly, I need to do a clean of the kitchen. So, yeah. I'm going to have a bagel. And then actually going to get started on the kitchen, which really fucking needs it. So, this is the state of the kitchen. This is definitely to be done. I need to... Well, there's pots and pads also need to be cleaned. I need to clean the oven. And of course, uh, what the fuck is going on with our table? You know? So, yeah. And I also need to do trash. And a little bit of, uh, you know, the broom and mop around here. Alright, so here's what the kitchen is looking like right now. Uh, all the dishes are drying. That's clean. That's mostly clean. Uh, and... Mop the floor. So now I'm going to go place my desk, especially my uh, laptop needs to be plugged in. And I have school in like an hour, so I'm going to like probably read. I'm going to read. So what I think I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to print out stuff for my bullet journal. So for the books I finished that I haven't like bullet journaled about, and also for when I went to visit that church with my mom, especially that I have a lot of stuff that I want to stick in it. Alright, so I'm going to be printing stuff for La Fioretically, Check and Mate, Pride, and then from when I went with my mom. So my class is about to start. I've printed everything. And I think I'm going to be like cutting up my paper while I'm in class because I need to do something with my hands. I need to fidget with something. So... Instead of like being on my phone playing a dumbass game, I'm just gonna be cutting up my papers. So it's ready for after my class. Well, after my class, I'm gonna be making dinner. We're having spaghetti tonight or whatever pasta we have in the cupboard with sauce from Normal Day, which is a Quebec uh, restaurant. And I fucking love their spaghetti sauce. So when I went there with my mom, like last Sunday, I believe it was, I bought some. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's keep working on my bullet journal. I don't have much light in the office, so we have uh, this one, and we have one on my husband's desk, and that's it.
All right, so here are the pages I did. I did this one for Love Theoretically, the one for Check and Mate, and the one for Bride. And this is my favorite fan art of Misery and Low. I fucking love it. And then when I went to the Basilica with my mom, so I have my little guide here. Uh, one of the postcards I bought, I cut it in the middle so I could put it there. And these are pictures of the outside that I took. Here I have two pictures that my mom took of me. Then I have the Way of the Cross. And basically I put the, the front of another one here because there's something like on the back of the last page. So I didn't want to glue it down like that. And a picture of the Way of the Cross. Then... Uh, the Saint Staircase, the picture I took, and like all the prayers for each stair. And then this is the other postcard I got with the pictures of the inside. And a little picture of candles that I took there. And then two other pictures I took of the inside. These little prayer cards that I got when I got the Holy Water Blessed. Another prayer card and then the Holy Water and I wrote that like I got it blessed and everything. And keychain, and this is basically the bag that I had my stuff in, and I wrote a little overall note here. Also, I got a packet in the mail today, I'm super excited. I got it from Fuck Sleep Studio on Etsy. And basically, I got a baby Stolas pen, and he's just so cute. And they sent me a Blitz uh, sticker with it, and I'm just... Look at him! I want to put him on my backpack so bad, but I also am scared that he's just going to fall. But I love him. And the card all around it, fucking nice. Hi. So I work at 3 to 9 today, and I leave in 20 minutes. So let's get ready. He's just purring so much right now. So something I do the night before when I work is that I get my clothes ready. So I don't have to look for it. Because as you can probably see in the back, my husband and I both have trouble like actually going and folding clothes when they're out of the laundry. So we do go through the piles that are just on our washer and dryer. So I need to take them out the night before to not be stressed about finding them. So first step is gonna be to toast and butter one of these. While my uh, bagel's in the toaster, I'm gonna finish my bag. So I have my book here, I need to Fill my water bottle and also put my lunch in my bag. And we're having yesterday's leftovers. Something I love about this water bottle is that there's a lock. So you can lock it and I'm not scared that it's going to open in my bag. Now I'm going to get dressed and then all I have to do is uh, my skincare and makeup. So I opened these to do a pill box for one of my patients and holy shit, they smell like chocolate. The grip I had on that bottle in that last clip so you wouldn't see any patient informations. <laughs> Four hours down, two to go. There was a cat here in my eyelashes in that last clip. I don't know how long it's been there or how it hasn't even fallen in my eye yet. Also, serum and lactone, it smells like mint and it smells so good. Alright, so both the husband and I are actually too tired to cook right now. So we're ordering pizza. It's gonna be so fucking good. We're gonna watch one piece at the same time. It's gonna be great. Okay, so pizza's here. We got some spicy curly fries, which I fucking love. We have, oh no, I'm trying to do this one-handed. We have the husband's, which is... That's not your husband, that's a pizza. But it's the husband, husband pizza. Oh, okay. Which is pepperoni and cheese with cheese crust. We do get leftovers when you eat there, but that's always good. That's my one. I have half Alfredo chicken and half meat lovers because I couldn't choose. 
so I just took both. <laughs> and last but not least, we got bum -ba -bum, cheesy bread. Oh, they look fluffy. So this book, when I read it, I can't put it down, but I don't feel the need to pick it back up right away, which is weird because usually when I can't put it, a book down, I just want to pick it back up like right away. But so it's good. I'm most of the way in and quite good. I'm not starting it right now, but this is my next read, Forbidden Fae by T.W. Pierce. I'm definitely starting that tomorrow. Uh, it's also quite short, so that's going to be good before I get into another big book. But even though I know this one will go by fast, because it's a Lily Gold book, it's faking benefits, and it's going to be a reread, and I fucking love it. So I just spent more time that I wanted reading because i really wanted to finish the book because it was quite good but it's now 2 20 a.m and the thing is um i still need to shower and i work at 9 a.m tomorrow i work 9 to 4 both tomorrow and sunday so i'm gonna do a quick shower at least my hair don't need to be washed right now and uh <laughs> definitely gotta go to bed also one of my coworkers commented my eye makeup today so that's always appreciated, even though like right now at the end of the day, like of course separating in my eyeliner is not perfect. But she complimented my makeup when I came in today and it always feels great. Today's a hard morning because I'm nauseous and my head hurts. Nine to four today. So yeah. I love how it looks like I have a huge coffee to size in my head. Uh <laughs> It's actually one of those, like, you know, very fake peach juice. I just love having random side quests at work. Like, today, my side quest was to finally put my name on my pen that I've had since my last pharmacy, and I just never did. Finally on my lunch break, let's go buy caffeine, because I am dying. Caffeine haul. Uh, this is my new favorite energy drink. Definitely gonna drink that while I have lunch. And then if I have a down <laughs> in the afternoon, because I work until four, I got these because they were two for something. Uh, even if I don't drink them, like I'll be bringing them home and drinking them later. <laughs> First bait of, of this book, okay? The girl's nearly like getting bitten by a vampire. And it just says, his instinct urged him to take my blood to heal himself, but getting killed by a vampire was not on my list of things to do today. This was so not in my job description. <laughs> just by that, I already know I'm gonna love it. Also, like, Vampire King and Failure. Of course. There is 29 pills a day in this pill box, aka. 812 in total. This one is, uh, as I like to call it, the big one. The big one. I'm home. And uh, I wanted to go and read outside because, you know, it's sunny. But it's way too hot for my liking. If you cannot tell from just my face. So I'm going to go read on the bed with the fan on and just, yeah. On chapter two of the book I started at my lunch. So we're just going to keep reading that. And I'm going to pop one of these in the freezer for like 15 minutes to get super cold and have that. All right. So as usual, after work, every muscle hurts. And I'm about to take my emotional support, muscle support, I guess, Aleve. It's Naproxen. Um, Naproxen is the thing that helps my muscle. These are some 220 milligrams. You take one of these every 8 to 12 hours. And if I'm really, really bad, I'm hiding all the informations, but I have these, which are some 500 milligrams, um, which I took one of these on Monday because of how bad it was. But right now, like, I just need a little bit to help. So I'm going to take one of these and we know the cat. He's waiting for the cuddles. No, 
Katika. He's meowing at me so much because I'm not in bed yet. Also, how cute is this little alley bottle? Like, look at this little shape. It's just, I don't know why I love it so much. I forgot that before I read, I need to fill out next week weekly planner. So, I'm gonna do that and then we're actually gonna read. All we're missing now is my fiance's um, work schedule. And also, these two. Uh, this is one of my class's final project. And this is one of my class's final project and another class's project. So it's gonna be a fun week. At least I don't work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's gonna be good to make uh, my projects. Now let's finally join the baby and go read. All right, let's do another one of my weekly things. Um, even though after I did pill boxes all day at work, I need to do my one. So in here, I have I'm gonna put probiotics because I have stomach issues. Then we have my contraceptive pill that we go in there. Some um, antidepressants and biotin. And I usually also put some vitamins, but I'm out, so I'm going to need to buy some at work tomorrow. But those also <laughs> go in there. All I'm missing are my little vitamin gummies that I'm going to buy tomorrow. I'm a dumbass. I had some left, but I still need to buy some tomorrow. But That's great. I had just enough for the week. Probably going to still bite them tomorrow because I'm at work anyways but yeah also I am now 46% into this book um my Kobo is telling me I still have one hour left if I want to finish it and it's good um yes I'm 50% in but it's also only 70 pages on 156 so I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it but the pining uh, and the secret I'm liking it but even though my Kobo says I have one hour left, I'm not going to finish it tonight because it's already 1 a.m. and I work at 9 in the morning. So we're not doing that. I could, but I'm not doing that. If I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read one chapter because chapter 9 is 20 pages. So I'm going to read that and then go to bed. We have another 9 to 4 today and I'm so fucking Let's see what probably gonna take a nap when I get home. <laughs> Work hole, I guess. So I got my vitamins and my husband's vitamins. Husband's deodorant. My brow gel, because I've been telling myself I need some more for a while and then just never got it caffeine uh i got these push pop gummy puppets they were all right like the taste was good and like it took me a while to oh fuck to get used to like how to actually pop it it's okay it looks fun and then this right here it's the winky lux rainbow bomb i've been wanting it for a while and i had some um optimum points so I use that for that. This is what it looks like. It's pH activated with some red also. Review, I guess. Uh, it tastes weird, but quite cute. It's not a lot, but it feels very hydrating, so that's good. I'm gonna keep that in my bag for sure. I'm so tired, it's not even funny. I've already had one of the Starbucks Frappuccino thing. Um, definitely need like more caffeine. So I'm gonna get some on my lunch break because I'm dying. I'm done with work, but I forgot to buy cheese and magnesium while I was on break, so we gotta do that. I've acquired my magnesium and cheese, now let's go home to take a nap. 
he's on a walk. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. I think I spooked him. All right, so I'm home, of course. Before I go out, I'm gonna take off my makeup, add my magnesium to my pill box, and take a naproxen because my fucking shoulders are killing me right now, as well as my right leg build me, so. All right, so I'm gonna be adding magnesium to mine, and I'm gonna do one for my husband because he was like, oh, you do yours, can you do one for me? <laughs> I was like, sure. So in his, we're gonna have his little vitamins. We're gonna have probiotics because he also has stomach problem like me. And again, I'm hiding information, but we have antidepressants because life, you know. So yeah, let's do that. In our household, we have our colors. Mine is red and his is purple. But with uh, the little pill box I could have, mine. In it's pink and his is purple and if you look of our on our calendar my things are in red and his in purple and it's just uh it helps my little adhd autistic brain to understand like oh this is my stuff and this is his and just have color coded everything in life i just created a project for myself for after my nap so um we have like you know a lot of meds like we have have our vitamins we have the probiotics we have my biotin my magnesium um uh, my pill, my antidepressant, his antidepressant, and then I also have, you know, my Aleve in the bedroom, and we have some Motrins, and we have some, you know, Tylenols in the bedroom, so basically it's all over there. What I'm going to do is that I have this, uh, the last call tea box that I took, uh, inches off, so I'm going to paint it, and then we're going to put all of the meds in it right here so they're going to be just all together so this is basically what it's going to be like instead of having like a ton here and over there i still have my mitles but i need to put them in the bathroom but that's what it's going to be like it's going to be so much better look at that so besides that something else i want to do after my nap is finish my book because i am let me just i have basically it says i have 40 minutes left um, and I'm 66% in, so I really want to finish that tonight and maybe start Faking with Benefits by Lily Gold, which is one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors. So, yeah, that's tonight's plans. And I'm going to nap because I'm fucking tired. I'm about to have some of this for dinner and uh, read. I don't think I'm gonna paint the box tonight uh, like I thought I would because I don't know where the fuck my paint is since the move. I know where my watercolor are, but not like my acrylic paints. I love annotating on my Kobo, but I'm realizing like my notes are like not the best. Like he's gonna say something sweet and I'm just gonna write aww or like. It's like pining and I put exclamation points. But I think this, it's in a fight scene and this note, best note I've ever done. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole note. So that's the series. And I didn't know that. Um, I do have like 15 pages of the second book at the end of my first book. And apparently, like, the third book is not even out yet. So, I'm gonna read the first 15 pages of the second book and, um, start my reread of Faking of Benefits. Um, it was a 3.5 out of 5, but again, it's the first book to a series and I can see the build-up and everything where it could go. So it's kind of shit that I don't have the rest of it. I just finished the two chapters I had of the second book, and holy shit, it feels like it would be so good. But I don't have it, so. 
Faking with Benefit, it's probably my favorite Lily Gold book, so I'm so excited to reread this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, the little, the little bush! I think Yeah, I think he also wants water. It's gonna be like a spa. It's a two-in-one spa. Oh goodness. It's like a brush and a treat. <laughs> He's so happy. Ah uh, yes, the daily meds and my nightly ice water. Which I do get in my Krispy Kreme uh, cup tumbler travel thing because it's just the best <laughs> okay so let's go through what i go on a daily basis because i kind of explained it when i was making my pill box but i want to do more details first of all multivitamins you're never too sure um i am not sure that i have enough like a big enough vitamin intake even though <laughs> Monsters have a lot of fucking vitamins, honestly. But, um, yeah, this just has everything I need. So, you know. It's funny how it's called one a day, but you take two daily. Anyways. Next, we have Vitin, which is for thicker hair, elfier skin, and lo stronger nails. Uh, I honestly must take it for my nails. Because my natural nails are very thin and they break super easily. And I'm trying to help it along and healthier skin is just a bonus and uh, thicker hair are just a bonus. Next we have the pill because contraceptive but I'm also on it on a 21 day cycle so <laughs> I don't have my period and also like honestly anytime I have a period even if it's fake period because like you don't ovulate when you're on that uh, I do get migraines so Next we have magnesium, which is for bone, muscle, and heart health. I take it for my muscles because as we've discussed this week, not the best. Then I have antidepressants because I have generalized anxiety disorder and I've had depressive episodes in the past. Even though that's better, I still have like, you know, a generalized anxiety disorder because of my autism. And last but not least, probiotics they are for intestinal and digestive health which i have stomach issues which is most likely ibs but i haven't gotten tested because i don't care for a diagnosis i just care to know what my trigger foods are and what helps and this is something that helps so all right so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye